for the Royal Television Society Programme Awards 2022, presented in partnership with Audio Network. Very shortly, we'll be revealing the complete list of this year's nominations. As you're about to see, it's a list which celebrates the very best of British television, virtually all of it produced under the most difficult circumstances of the global pandemic. But British programme makers are nothing if not ingeniously resourceful. You will see just how brilliantly they rose to the challenges of sudden production shutdowns, seemingly endless COVID protocols on set, and more social distancing and handwashing than any of us ever thought possible. All to make some truly world-beating television. And for that, we salute you. This year's nominations list reflects the broad, full range of production in British television, with shows made by some of Britain's tiniest indies sitting alongside juggernaut titles from the major name studios. It's a timely reminder of just how valuable and precious the production and broadcasting landscape in this country is. British television simply has an unrivaled richness of variety. There really is quite literally something for everyone. And in the nominations list, we see the very best of that extraordinary range of content. So how has the nominations list been put together? Well, since the beginning of January, a number of juries selected carefully from across the TV industry have watched literally hundreds of hours of submitted programme entries. They met on Zoom to discuss what they'd seen, and for each category, a short list of three nominations was agreed. A vote by secret ballot then determined the category winner. So each jury has contributed to this list, which covers the full sweep of creativity in British television. And so, to the nominations. We begin with the drama categories. During 2021, British drama producers demonstrated both their remarkable tenacity and creative skills at a time when shooting in this genre in particular was more challenging than ever. But once again this year, there is outstanding, world-class work in competition in all the drama categories. In the drama series category, there are nominations for 
In My Skin, produced for BBC Three, Manhunt, The Night Stalker, produced for ITV, and Unforgotten, also produced for ITV. In the newly titled category called Drama Limited Series, the nominations are Stephen, produced for ITV, Time, produced for BBC One, and It's a Sin, produced for Channel Four. And in the single drama category, the nominations are Death of England, Face to Face on Sky Arts, Romeo and Juliet on Sky Arts, and Help on Channel 4. Our congratulations to Sky Arts, not only for their first nominations in this category, but for scoring two in the same year. In the Soap and Continuing Drama category, the nominations are Coronation Street, produced for ITV, Casualty, produced for BBC One, and Hollyoaks, produced for Channel 4. In the drama performance categories, the nominees are for the nominees for actor female are Charlene White for Stephen on ITV, Keely Hawes for It's a Sin on Channel 4, and Gabrielle Creevy for In My Skin on BBC Three. For actor male, the performance nominees are Tahar Rahim for The Serpent on BBC One, Callum Scott Howells for It's a Sin on Channel 4 and Ollie Alexander for It's a Sin on Channel 4. We move on to factual programmes, a genre that has enjoyed an especially strong year. In the formatted popular factual category, the nominated series are The Repair Shop on BBC One, The Dog House on Channel 4, and The Rap Game UK on BBC Three. In the history category, the nominations are 9-11 Life Under Attack, produced for ITV, 9-11 Inside the President's War Room, produced for BBC One, and Uprising, produced for BBC One. In the live event category, the nominees are The Funeral of His Royal Highness the Prince of Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, for BBC One, The Earthshot Prize 2021, for BBC One, and YouTube Pride 2021, for YouTube Originals. Our congratulations to YouTube for their first ever Programme Award nomination. British documentary making is enjoying a creative renaissance and there are excellent high calibre pieces in both the documentary series and single documentary categories. The nominations in the documentary series category are Undercover Police Hunting Paedophiles, produced for Channel 4, Liverpool Narcos, produced for Sky Documentaries, and 9-11 One Day in America, produced for National Geographic. In the single documentary category, the nominated programmes are The Return, Life After ISIS, produced for Sky Documentaries, Rape, Who's on Trial, produced for Channel 4, and Grenfell, The Untold Story, produced for Channel 4. Our congratulations to Sky Documentaries for their first nominations, one in each of the two documentary categories. The sports coverage and production categories are always keenly contested, and this year is no exception. For the Sports Programme Award, the nominations are The 100 for Sky Sports Cricket, The Paralympics Tokyo 2020 for Channel 4, and Tokyo 2020 Olympics for BBC One. In the category of Sports Presenter, Commentator or Pundit, the nominees are Gary Neville for Sky Sports Premier League on Sky Sports, Emma Hayes for UEFA Euro 2020 on ITV, and Gabby Logan for the London Marathon on BBC One. Entertainment is, of course, a massively popular genre. It's right at the sharp end of the ratings competition between the broadcasters, and in the entertainment programme nominations, there are three nominated shows that could not be more different or imaginative in their content. And they are Big Zoo's Big Eats, produced for Dave, The Masked Singer, produced for ITV, and The Big Breakfast, produced for Channel 4 as part of its Black to Front project. In the entertainment performance category, the nominees are Rosie Jones for Trip Hazard on Channel 4, Victoria Corin Mitchell for Only Connect on BBC Two, and AJ Adudu and Mo Gilligan for The Big Breakfast on Channel 4. In the daytime category, the nominated programmes are Richard Osman's House of Games, produced for BBC Two, Expert Witness, produced for BBC One, 
and The Great House Giveaway, produced for Channel 4. In the children's programme category, the nominees are The Rubbish World of Dave Spud on CITV, News Round, Let's Talk About Periods on CBBC, and The World According to Grandpa for the Milkshake programming block on Channel 5. And now we move on to the comedy categories. In comedy entertainment, the three nominated programmes are The Graham Norton Show, produced for BBC One, The Latest Show with Mo Gilligan, produced for Channel 4, and The Last Leg, produced for Channel 4. For scripted programme, the nominations are Bloods, produced for Sky One, Alma's Not Normal, produced for BBC Two, and We Are Lady Parts, produced for Channel Four. The comedy performance categories are next, and the nominees for male comedy performance are Nick Muhammad for Intelligence, produced for Sky One, Samson Kayo for Bloods, produced for Sky One, and Adil Akhtar for Back to Life, produced for BBC Three. For female comedy performance, the nominees are Sophie Willen for Alma's Not Normal, produced for BBC Two, and Jana Vassan for We Are Lady Parts, produced for Channel Four, and Katie Wicks for Staff Let's Flats, produced for Channel Four. In the arts category, the nominated programmes are Lady Boss, The Jackie Collins Story, produced for BBC Two, African Apocalypse, produced for BBC Two, and Freddie Mercury, The Final Act, produced for BBC One. And in the prestigious science and natural history category, the nominations are Horizon Special, The Vaccine, on BBC Two, David Harewood, Why Is Covid Killing People of Colour, on BBC One, and Baby Surgeons, Delivering Miracles, on Channel Four. In the presenter category, this year's nominees are Munya Chihuahua for Race Around Britain for YouTube Originals, Steph McGovern for Steph's Packed Lunch on Channel 4, and Joe Lycett for Joe Lycett vs. The Oil Giant for Channel 4. The Breakthrough Award is now in its seventh year. It's presented to honour an emerging and significant new talent in British television, either in front of or behind the camera. Previous winners were Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Michaela Cole, Daniel Lawrence Taylor, Nabar Rizwan, Tanya Moody, and last year, Mae Martin, which is quite a list. And this year's three nominees are the showrunner and writer Ajani Salmon, who made a real impact with his work Dreaming Whilst Black, produced for BBC Three, the actor Callum Scott Howes, whose performance in Channel 4's It's Sin caught the attention of both critics and audiences alike, and performer Anjani Vassan, whose starring role in We Are Lady Parts on Channel 4 marked her out as a name to keep watching. The Royal Television Society Programme Awards is proud to continue its long tradition of celebrating the central roles played by writers in creating outstanding television. And this year in the comedy writing category, the nominees are May Martin and Joe Hampson for Feel Good, produced for Netflix, nominated for the second consecutive year, Nida Manzur for We Are Lady Parts, produced for Channel 4, and Holly Walsh, Helen Serafinowicz, and Baranka O'Shaughnessy for Motherland, produced for, for, produced for BBC Two. For drama writing, the nominees are Richard Warlow for The Serpent on BBC One, the winner of last year's Outstanding Achievement Award, Russell T Davis, nominated now for It's a Sin on Channel 4, and Jack Thorne for Help on Channel 4. Previous winners of the Royal Television Society's Channel of the Year, a category first introduced in 2017, were BBC Three, BBC One, CBeebies, Channel Five, and BBC One for a second time. This year, the category has a new title, RTS Network of the Year, and the three nominations are ITV, BBC One, and Sky Arts. So there they are, the nominations for this year's Programme Awards. Congratulations to all the nominees, in particular to the BBC for leading the field with 30 nominations, and Hot on the Heels, Channel 4, with 29. And it's now my pleasure to introduce the Chief Executive of the Royal Television Society, Theresa Wise. Thanks, Boyd, and thank you too for leading us through the nominations for this year's Programme Awards. Firstly, may I offer my sincere congratulations to all the nominees announced this morning. As Boyd said, it's a list that once again demonstrates the strength, range, 
quality and diversity of British television and all delivered to appreciative audiences when actually producing television was a truly and challenging endeavour in itself. I'm delighted to see production companies of every size and from all over Britain make it onto the nominations list and to see work produced for younger platforms like YouTube now receiving recognition too. Thank you to everyone who submitted entries this year. As you may know, the Programme Awards is the principal fundraising event in the RTS calendar and it wouldn't be possible without the engagement of the broadcasters and content platforms. So I'd like to take this opportunity to formally thank them for their continuing support. This year we had literally hundreds of hours of programmes submitted for consideration. So a big thank you a uh, big thank you as well to everyone who gave up their time to watch the shows and to sit on our juries. We continue to work hard to make sure our, our juries reflect the diversity of modern Britain and I'm pleased to, to report that of 200 jurors this year, 63 jurors, that's almost 32%, identified as non-white minority ethnic. The Programme Awards is chaired again this year by Kenton Allen and I'd like to express my thanks to him for the insight and enthusiasm he brings to the role. And of course, I'd like to offer my sincerest thanks to our sponsor partner for the Programme Awards, Audio Network, whose great support we continue to truly appreciate. For the first time since March 2019, we're going to be able to hold the Programme Awards as an in-person, real live event this year after a two-year hiatus, it'll be great to be back in the Great Room at the Grosvenor House to catch up with colleagues and friends from across the industry and, more than anything, to honour the best of British television from the last 12 months. I'm thrilled to announce that Nish Kumar will be hosting and it promises to be a very special night of celebration, socialising and fun. So, if you haven't booked your table yet, don't delay. The date is Tuesday 29th of March. I look forward to seeing you then for the RTS Programme Awards 2022, presented in partnership with Audio Network. Thank you.